All right. Hello again. This is Trice Majestus, and we're here at uh, Shinra and Desra. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> we're still at Cinder Dark. Um, we have unlocked Chloe Sedesi and pinned her blueprint. All right, so the people we got left. Um, Etienne Doran needs escape pods. I'll have to figure out where out in Colonia to get those because uh, no good getting them here. Um, Marsha Hicks. Well, I'll have to mine 10 units of osmium and deliver them to her. Um, I guess I'm going to have to do that out there too. Uh, delivering progenitor cells. Oh, I'm going to have to do that out there, too. Okay. Well, Brandon and Laurie Jameson. Um, so the guys out there really don't need anything I've got in here other than after I get them uh, unlocked to the first level, I need to use... Um, normal materials and such to bring them up to level five. So basically that means collecting a lot of each of the different types of materials. So let's come over here and take a look at what we've got. Data is the easiest to look at because it's not mixed in with anything else. And well, five people have hit the channel already, although only one stuck. Um, nice! Good to hear that. You'll get there well ahead of me. Um, don't forget, this is the, starting tomorrow is the, um, when you can get the decal from the, um, up Candace system on the new station. Get the Golconda de decal. So, between tomorrow and the 16th, you need to take a ship down there. Of course, you know, small or medium. Large doesn't, won't make it. And uh, dock at the new outpost. Of course, if you do that, you might as well pick up the rare trade item there and go deliver it somewhere. Let's see. Wish I could sort these rather than... Uh, Well, it would be nice having different ways to sort them. Sort them by category, sort them by grade. The, the alphabetic sort is probably the least useful sort. Yes, the Federation rank up as well. Um, so I'm planning on doing a bunch of missions of one sort or another. Um, to get my Fed rank up. So, yeah, ten, 10 days to boost your fed rank and get that, unlock that, the big ship. Whew. 
Carl. Let's see, what would we got filters? We could filter by grade. I don't want to filter by grade. Um It's probably the least. I'd like to exclude the Guardian stuff now, because I don't need that anymore. Okay. The brand new one it in the Upcanda system. Um, which I don't even know the name for. Hold on, maybe I can find out. Um, actually, I was over in the right area. Da -da -da. Galnet News. Forester's Choice. It's also the only place to get that lovely new rare. Hey, how do I... Federation delivers Kukonda's new home. The Federation has won the bid to provide the Kukonda's population with a permanent home, beating a rival effort by the Empire. Both campaigns <coughs> received support from the galactic community, but the initiative to create a new orbital outpost for the Generation ship's inhabitants ultimately proved more popular than the construction of a planetary port. An official message from the Golconda confirmed that the colonists were impressed by the superpower's success, and have agreed to migrate to the outpost once it has been completed. The outpost will be named Forrester's Choice to honor the captain of the Golconda, Jonathan Forrester. The Golconda crew have also accepted the status of a federal partner while retaining their autonomy. Congressman Han and Turk made this statement. We are proud to offer a fresh start to a society descended from the Federation's forebears. Their unique culture will continue to thrive among the stars at an outpost that enjoys federal protection. Imperial Senator Rava Cornelius sent a message of goodwill to Captain Forrester and his crew. She admitted disappointment at the Golconda's decision, but wished the colonists peace and prosperity for the future. Supporters of the Imperial and Federal campaigns can now collect outstanding rewards from their respective megaships in the Upanaclis system. That might be something I could do. I'll have to look at that. Oh, that's interesting. Ugh. 
I may be bringing some uh, stuff down there to gain rank. I don't know. We'll see. Um, in any case, I'm a little at loose ends tonight. Um, uh, yeah, I got to go back to Shinra to Desert anyway. All right. Oh, I wanted to check, make sure I had her completely unlocked and it all stuck and got pinned and every all that good stuff. Chloe Sidesi, level five, pinned. Dirty drive tuning. And who is it? Palin, who's got the clean drive. All right, cool. All right, so that means I need to make a shopping list <laughs> of things I need to collect. So, well, actually, I need to in gears. Okay, Mr. Dorn, after I deliver you stuff, you are the master of lightweight life support. Which means <clears throat> Mr. Estian Dorn, where are you on this list? Why do I not see you? Oh, there you are. Mr. Estian Dorn. Yes, you have grade five lightweight life support. Excellent. Which means for level one, we need phosphorus. For level two, we need salvaged alloys. And manganese. <laughs> that was funny. By a way, spill on deck C. <laughs> uh, level three, we need more salvaged alloys. And more manganese. And conductive ceramics. All right. Then level four, we need conductive components. And phase alloys. And protolite alloys. And finally, for level five, we need conductive ceramics. And protolite alloys. And 
and proto-radiolica wise. Okay, there's the Etienne Dorn bill of materials. Let's see, the next one we have out there is Marsha Hicks. <coughs> no, it's a, uh, it's not a planetary outpost. It's a, uh, a regular outpost. The Fed's one, so it's, uh, It's out in space, which is good because you don't need horizons for it. All right, Marsha Hicks. Well, she's got multi cannons, fuel scoop, and collector limpet. Well, that's interesting because if I pin her, well, she's also got cannons, but they're. But if I get her with collector, lightweight uh, collector. Huh. Huh. <coughs> that means I can reassign somebody else who has that. What's it, the Sarge? I think it's the Sarge I've got set for having that at the moment. Why can't I see him? I don't have the Sarge written down. Huh. Oh well, Marsha Hicks. I think the reason the Sarge isn't written down is he's just got way too many good options. So, lightweight collector lipids. <coughs> Excuse me. Once again, we start with phosphorus. Uh, salvaged alloys and manganese. Hey, this is looking familiar. Conductive ceramics. It's the same ingredient set as for the lightweight life support. Okay, so salvaged alloys and manganese. And salvaged alloys, manganese. And conductive ceramics. And conductive components. Uh, 
these alloys. Hello. These alloys and where are my proto light alloys? All right. Conductive ceramics. Uh, proto light alloys. And proto radiolic alloys. And I don't believe there's any experimental effects in either one of those two. Nope. All right. Interesting. Identical shopping lists. So I got to double up on that. All right. Next one in the list. Come on. Is Petra Omanova. There's only three out there. Oh, there's also Mel Brandon. Okay. So Petra Omanova. Heavy duty hull reinforcement. So we start out needing carbon. Easy enough to obtain. Then we need carbon and shield emitters. Next, for level three, we Okay, fine. We need carbon shield emitters and high density composites. For level four. Grade four. Oh, we change a bit. Vanadium, we change a lot. Suddenly it becomes hard. Shielding sensors. And proprietary composites. Well, not that hard. Okay, and for grade five, we need tungsten. Compound shielding. And core dynamics component. Ooh, there's a limited item. And we 
Well, since I'm not really going to probably go, go with a deep plating on it. Which means I need five compact composites. Uh, three molybdenum. And two ruthenium. And the funny thing is, as soon as I get it engineered, I'm just going to ship it back to the Shinrata Desert from there for whatever coin it's going to take to do it. <laughs> All right, Mel Brandon. What does Mel Brandon need? Or what can he give me? Oh, he can give me lots of stuff. Beam. Yeah, he's one of the few people who can get me. Hmm. Yeah. There's nothing above grade four on that. And he's the only one who can get me grade four. He is the master of the sh shield cell bank. Using shield cell. Good thing I don't have one. Alright, so we've only got four grades of this. We need specialized legacy firmware. We need, so no, specialized, more specialized. Uh, conductive components. Um, then for level three, we need exceptional. Exceptional scrambled. Missions data conductive components and cracked industrial firmware. Okay, grade four, conductive components. Correct industrial firmware. And yttrium. Okay, experimental boss cells. Which I need five chemical storage units. Uh, 
Uh, where are they? Three chromium. And one polymer capacitor. Okay. And that's Mr. Mel Brandon. All right. So that's Mr. Melbourne. And Lori Jameson is in, uh, I think, Shinrata Desra. Um, so that's everybody out there that I need to unlock. Now, who don't I have at level 5 here? I don't have Ram Ta, Liz Ryder, or Zach Nemo. I will probably get them on when I, once or after I get back. So I need to collect for these guys. So let's um, do a little bit of computation here. Figure out <laughs> only way to get over there. <laughs> Have to go there to unlock them. No choice. So I'm going to gather as, you know, a bunch of the material here where it's easy to get. Then I'm going to go jump into my big anaconda. Fly out there. Although, given that we've got the Fed rank bonus coming up starting tomorrow, I am probably going to, you know, gather materials as much as I can tonight. And then get my Fed rank before I head out there. And once I get out there, I want to have enough um, enough that I can uh, put together a uh, decent ship to um, run whatever missions I need to out there. Um, um, probably. Because I'm not all that interested right now in the flight in between. Um, I took the, the Neutron Star route back, or the Neutron Star Highway back, uh, from Colonia to, well, actually, <laughs> practically from the former Dean Rift all the way back. Um, from Distant Worlds, too. Um, So, uh, or was it not Formidine Rift, the Abyss? Um, so, you know, it doesn't take all that long to get to Colonia on a 70 something light year anaconda going up through the uh, Neutron Star Highway. At any rate. Let's find out how much of this stuff I need. So we're looking at, we need phosphorus, right? So phosphorus. We need that for one, two. For two level one upgrades. So phosphorus, we need to have Oh, just to be safe, we'll have five for each. So I want to have ten phosphorus on me. Okay. Next raw material we have is manganese. Now I've got that on level two and three on two different things. Um... Do I have it on any of the other ones? Uh, no more there. Not there, not there, not there. And firmware, firmware components, blah, 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 yttrium, chromium. So no, I've got it on two. 
level twos. So figure, well, twos and threes. All right, so I'm going to need eight plus 12 is 20 per each. I want to have 40 manganese on me. What was that? Oops. Something happened. Um, all right, then that's all the raws on the first two. So then we have carbon. And we got that for one, two, and three on that one. So carbon. Uh, so five plus 20 is 25 carbon. And then I need vanadium. Okay, what do I need over here? Da, 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 da. Not, not. I need vanadium and then tungsten. Um, so I'll say 20 vanadium and 25 tungsten. Um, whoop, somebody calling me. It's... Hello there. Hello. How you doing tonight? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm kind of... Right now, planning next moves. Um, building up a shopping list before heading out to uh, Colonia. Uh, oh, nice. I was actually planning to go into Colonia as well. well I've got to unlock all the engineers out there. Mm -hmm. So I'm building up a shopping list of what uh, it's going to take. So that's 25 yttrium, molybdenum. I need three for that. I need two ruthenium. And I need three chromium. That's what I need for raw materials. All right, so let's see what I've got for raw materials. So I'll start out with phosphorus. I think I got plenty of that. Yep, got plenty of that. Manganese. Yeah, I need manganese. Okay. Carbon. Oh, I need a few more carbon. Vanadium. Oh, I'm actually good on vanadium. Tungsten, I need a few more. Yttrium, I need a bunch more. Uh, molybdenum, I probably have enough. Yeah, I got enough molybdenum. How about ruthenium? Ooh, just barely enough ruthenium. <laughs> need to, got to. Uh, chromium. Uh, come on, chromium. There it is. Oh, yeah, plenty of chromium. All right, so that's my raw list. Let's take a look at my manufactured list. I'm going to need salvaged alloys. Yeah. 
And I'm going to need 40 of those. Wait, let's see if I need them for anything else. There, that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, come back here. Nope, I only need 40 of them, okay. Alright. Conductive ceramics. Let's see. Conductive. Wait a minute. Did I do that wrong? Um, do, do, do. Salvage one, two, level three. Got to double check myself here. Nope, that's not the right one. Wait a minute, who is this on? This wasn't on anybody out there. Okay, that's something different. Close that for the moment. Alright. Ceramics components. Oh, that's interesting. What did you find? <coughs> what I found is the... Um, The crafting's a little odd on the um, lightweight life support or, and lightweight other things where it goes from conductive ceramics down a grade to conductive components and then back up to conductive ceramics again. Interesting. That is true. Huh. All right, so let's see, that, that, so I need 12 plus 25, which is the same as 24 plus 50, I need 74 but for, for those two, um, anybody else need conductive ceramics? Component, 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 no. So the conductive ceramics, I need 74. Conductive components. I need 20, 40, 60, 85. I need 85 conductive components. And let me see, that's compact composites. Okay, so I don't need any of those yet. All right. All right, so the next thing I need is phase alloys. And I need Twenty for that. Twenty for that. That's forty. Um, oh, I was actually thinking about going to Richard Nebula. Huh, well, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> oh, for the uh, meta alloys. Uh, I'm sitting at Chloe Sedesi's uh, engineering base. I just, uh, last night I unlocked her to level 5. What engineer? Chloe Sedesi. Let's see, do you need phase alloys? 
You do not need phase alloys. You do not need phase alloys. I only need 40 phase alloys. Okay. Yeah, I don't have her as a known engineer, so... Uh -huh. You got a ways to go, then. Yeah. Proto light alloys. Alliance. Independent. So I need forty five ninety I need ninety proto light alloys. Oops, somebody's calling me. Oh. Nobody I need to talk to. Um Proto radiolic alloys. I need fifty of those. All right, so the first two are on my list. No data. No data at all for the first two. All right. So I've already done the conductive components. Uh, data, data, conductive components, data, yttrium. So you've only got data left other than um, the, what, what do you want to call it there? Okay. So shield emitters. Okay. Those are my next one. Shield emitters. I need thirty-two. Okay. High density composites. High density composites. I need. That's weird. Like there's no filter on the on the navigation systems for just mission. Huh. Missions. That seems odd. They sh there should be some proprietary components. I need tw twenty and core dynamic. I need 25. And then, chemical storage units. I need five polymer capacitors. I need one. Compact composites. That's, that's... Hmm. I need five, and that's all of the manufactured. All right, so for data, that's all I have left is data. All right, data. Actually, specialized legacy firmware. And I need... Ooh, I missed one. I missed one. Shielding sensors. I need 20. 
<coughs> Make sure I didn't miss anything else. How about shielding? Oh, I don't have compound shielding either. Okay. I need 25 of that. Okay. All right, back to con back to data. Okay, you are done and I'm only d get this. Uh, specialized legacy firmware. Oh, I need 20 of that. Um, I've already got that. Exceptional scrambled emissions data. Oh, that's nice. I finally found my night vision button. Uh-huh. <laughs> Twelve of that. I'll probably go do some bounty hunting. Correct. Like, it's getting kind of old, this constant grinding. <laughs> I need 12 of that, and, whoop, no, I need more than 12 of that. I need 32 of that. Okay, and that's everything. All right, I got my list of stuff, and data is my shortest list. <laughs> Go figure. That's a, that's a first. I've been collecting so much data. I figured I'd be collecting data in endlessly, but it looks like the biggest one is going to be manufactured. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Although picking up 25 yttrium is no joke. Um, well, actually, it's not too bad. Uh, 25 divided by 3. That's 8. I have to actually collect 9. That's really not bad. No, it's really going to be the manufactured that's going to be a pain in the behind. Okay. All right. Well, then I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my materials collection world next and um, collect materials until I've got everything but yttrium collected. Um, or raw materials, specifically. And once I've only got yttrium left, I'm going to go to a yttrium world and pick it, up, pick up the rest there. Okay. Because I know there's a, I have a yttrium world listed somewhere that has uh, uh struggled with manufactured. Yeah, you can struggle with uh, manufact for the one. There's a couple that are mission only. Um. I think biotech is actually one of those. Let me just double check that. Du, du, du. Components, home oh, like a new tab. Uh, biotech conductors. Very rare. Only is only exists as a uh, mission reward. Yep. So you got uh, two choices with biotech conductors. You can either go do missions, or you can trade for them. Um, either way works. Okay. <laughs> and yes, Ruby, I have people asking me questions online. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I need a galaxy map. That's what I need. Galaxy map. Here's the galaxy map, Commander. Thank you, Anubis. It's my pleasure, Commander. <laughs> oh, some days. Oh, excuse me. Ah, 
Oh, did I not save the, um... Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, I got 39 arcs. I didn't check that. You got what? 39 arcs. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's going to take a while. <laughs> Material collection raw. How many jumps to the material collection raw? That's going to be funny. 18 jumps. How nice. And probably not a single one of them will I have ever been to. Hmm. I don't think I've ever tried to get pharmaceutical iso isolators. Or if I did, I traded for them. <laughs> um, I've found most of the specialized collection is not worth doing. All right. Off to... Off to my favorite collection planet. Retract landing gear. Landing on landing gear. Retract. May climb to escape altitude. And this may be the last time I come out to the Witch, Witch Head Nebula. Engage. Preparing to full space. May not be. As I thought, I have not been here, so I need to scan it. Say so one thing for exploration data, you earn quite a bit of arcs for it. Yes, I did. I hit the volume button and my volume went away. <laughs> All right. Wondered why I couldn't hear the ship anymore. There's a gas giant out here somewhere. No, it's not. It's a water world. Nice. Too bad somebody else already got it. <laughs> System map. Uh, da -da -da. So we've got Lightmaster, Rabbit, uh, Veridun Fire Dancer, Swing King, and that's it. And ooh, that is a terraformable. Ugh, at 19k light seconds out. Yeah, they can have it. Uh, the ship? Deathwish Coffee. My favorite brand of coffee. Specifically, every day I uh, drink two cups worth of their uh, Valhalla Java Odin Force Brew. <laughs> No, they don't sponsor me. I just put their name there. 
<laughs> Engage. Love their coffee. Great coffee. funny a friend of mine from high school mentioned um i think on facebook um that she'd found that co that coffee company down down uh, in the southern u.s so i ordered it on amazon just to try it um i ordered their main brand which is called death wish coffee and then i ordered the valhalla java to try it which are the two th it's the two uh brews that they uh they make the Dash Wish is pretty good, but the Valhalla Java is insanely good. So that's what I drink every day. My daily wake me up. Another water world. Cool. Couple of gas giants. Another gas giant over here. And everything left are balls of ice. One more ball of ice somewhere. There it is. Yeah, it's a real brand. Um, it's uh, triple caffeinated coffee. And their, their original, the actual Death Wish coffee, is, it's, it's nice. Um, I usually take a little bit, just a little bit of sweetener with it, not much. Um, the Valhalla Java, I just drink straight up. Um, it's just so smooth and delicious. System map. Valhalla Java, Odin Force Brew. Harbringer, Robot Man. Lightmaster, Thunder. Sage Ananasi. Validating. Hey, Validating was out here. Too. He's everywhere. Sapient. Azaraphael. Avriron. Avriron. Robot Man. Fizzy. Uh, darn it. <laughs> I can't get to that one. All right, there we go. Robot Man and Fizzy and Ever Iron. Okay. Engage. Yeah, you can order it right off of Amazon. Have it shipped right to your door. It's great. You can get it whole bean or ground. Liked it so much, I've got a standing order every month. It's it just shows up. <laughs> My monthly supply shows up every once a month. It's great. Actually, I think next week is um, when the next batch arrives.
Yummy. <laughs> it would not surprise me if they ship internationally. Might cost you a little more to get it shipped to you, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they do ship internationally. After all, I can get Yorkshire gold over here, and that's a British tea. Yeah, I kind of figured it would. System, scan complete. System map. Lightmaster and oh, they used a six for a G. Okay, Morgan, Sergey Sparrow, Robot Man, and O oh, Thunder, and R2, and R2, R2 Dito, Sleuth, and that's everybody. Engage. Preparing to form space. That's a T Taurus, so that's not going to help me with scooping. I kind of wish I could get uh, in-game decals of some of the patches they send me every once in a while, or their uh, company logo or something like that. Put it on my ship. Just gotta nice ball around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. System map. Robot man again. Memel dude. Memel dude, huh? Oh, there's validating. <laughs> See validating all over the place. <laughs> Engage. Preparing to form space.
asteroids. Yeah, it looks like a water world. It is. It is! It is a water world! System map. Let's see who's been here. Unfortunately, they scanned the heck out of that water world, so. Rusty! And a thunder! And ve Veggie Justo, okay. Huh, Sar, and then. That sounds Finnish. Two water worlds. Pro Teddy. Huh. Neither one is terraformable, though. Zurio Dawnbringer. Oh, come on. Get me get to that planet. Okay. Jukebox. Arkarth. <laughs> one more letter. It will be a, t a city from uh, another game. Um... Shankalank. Beto Tib. Beto. I don't know. Steve Taylor. And that's everybody. Looks like Rusty and Zuriel had a fun time on this system. <laughs> Engage. Oh, T-Tauri coming up. Three stars, all useless. System map. Renko Seotome. I've run into that one before. And he got the whole system. All three are Titari. Engage.
Ooh. Contact binary. Contact binary. This is a interesting system. Hey, why do I gotta? What was that? Oh, okay. Good enough. System map. Yo, Jonathan Archer Bob, and Mullen. Speaking to you. Oh, you done for the night? Yes. All right, have a good night. Well, this is Ruby Laser. Bye now. <laughs> night, Ruby. Goodbye, Juice. Whoops. Wrong button. Engage. Charging FDL. <laughs> Two stars and a planet. Huh. Two stars and a gas giant. <laughs> An almost star. Where are you? Whoop, whoop, whoop. There you are. Oh no, it's only a class one. System map. Not even close. Aline, Alina, 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 and Chapanatsa? Maybe? <laughs> Engage. Preparing for jump. Eleven bodies. I gotta figure out, or at least I gotta look up where to pick up uh, occupied escape pods. That'll be interesting to find out. So I need those for Etienne Dorn. And I've never really collected those before. Well, not intentionally. I found one.
system map. Uh, Bruce Humblehand. I've run into him before. Run into that name before. The party main. The party man I am. Aha! I see. And basically, the two of them got the uh, got the whole system. Engage. Hmm, looks like I have partially explored this system. Interesting. <coughs> or at least have partial data on the system. A eh, little bit. Or maybe it just got close enough to those, I don't know. That is interesting. Might have another water world here. Yep. System map. Oh, a string of beads. Well, almost. Benali. I don't know. And pumpkin. Worst nick ever. Heard. Okay. Not terraformable. Not that far off. I could go put my name there. I'm going to go put my name there. Uh, McReeg. Okay. I'm going to go put my name there. <laughs> Let's go write my name on the universe.
just because. Six probes. <laughs> Whoops. All right. What was it? Uh, did I? Wasn't it? I thought I pinned something to next system in route. Well, guess not. Engage. Using FTL engines and preparing for jump. Brown Dwarf. System map. Rabbit. I've seen that before today. Maxi Axi. AJO. AJO. 2K. 2000. Nabucodonosaur. The second. Chris Master Ski. Okay. Sure. Engage.
four stars. Okay. This is a four star system. System map. Medicine woman. Moiki. Bunch of class M's. Nice. Engage. And then a brown dwarf. System map. Dr. Evil. Soul Reaver. Ragla. And that's everybody. Oh, I couldn't... Uh... Well, only that one's been mapped. All the rest... Wide open to have somebody put their name on them. Engage. Spooling FTL engines and preparing for jump.
system map. All right, duper do. And XZ when Sierra Mauglinlicker Russiver <laughs> Validating Desnor Cool Engage How many do I have left? One more jump still. Wow. I may actually not get any, uh... <laughs> I may have to actually turn for uh, Shinrata Desert. System map. Soft death. <laughs> Eleven offbeat. Silent shark. Oops. Rogelius tachyon. Peppy. That's everybody. Okay. Engage. Space. Brown Dwarf. Puppy sector, woof woof. It's late, I'm tired, oh, I'm being silly. Yeah, bunch of ice balls. System map. Mephany. Unprime. 
Metal here. Metal here. Mechanismo. Morian. And Alt SK. Engage. Preparing for war. system map. Zendrick! Seen that before. Ark, Solaria Delta, Solaria Delta, Eden, Vlad, 2L5, okay, Onicron, Vlad, and that's everybody. Engage. Charging FDL. After my f favorite raw materials collections planet.
Have I mapped this planet? I don't know. Let me just double check this. System map. I mapped it. I have mapped this planet. Okay. Any points of interest? No. This is the Selenium planet, right? With Yttrium. Okay. Now, I don't know if you've run into this yet, but um, selenium is a rare on the trade list, but it's um, only uncommon when you go to search and find it. Which makes this particular planet one of the best points, or be best locations, for grinding raw materials. Because you can just load up on selenium at four, something like 4.4%. Plus it has yttrium and some uh, pretty good... Uh... Ah! This has, this particular one, um, ha has the maximum amount of selenium you can get, plus a decent amount of yttrium. So if you look... Actually, system map, it's on here. So if you look, it's 4.4 .4 selenium, which is as good as it gets. I think, it, well, it might get 4.7. But I've also got yttrium, tungsten, tin, three very difficult ones to get and all at pretty decent um, percentages. So as far as maximizing rare collection, it's hard to get better than this place. No, um, it does if it had geological um, locations, because then you can just geo hop, um, and that maximizes what you get from the geo locations. Um, in fact, there's one planet, and I'm kind of sad I didn't bookmark it, um, where I was able to get one of the one of the rares. I mean, just. I don't know, uh, six, seven, eight drops an hour, which is pretty good, plus a bunch of other stuff. So it just allowed me to fill up quick. But this one's more traditional, pick a direction and drive.
Deploy landing gear. Landing gear deployed. And there we go. Let's see, is there... What about else do I got in the area? Easy, buddy. Alright, I think this is the direction I want to go for now. Saved it! I think this is the one I want. I think this is bronze icon. Uh, it is bronze icon, right? Okay. But I'll take it. What did we get? Selenium. Well, it worked. We got selenium. That one. Oh, right in front of me. Now, let's see, there was a different kind over here somewhere, but I think that's still not something I want. Or at least one that doesn't, not likely to have stuff I want. It may, but. Mesociterite. Am I out of. I'm out of ammo. Oh, power to weapons. Power to weapons. Ooh, a couple of vanadium. That's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. Off this direction we go. Power to shields. Routing power to shields. Power to engines. Routing power to engines. And bronzite kind right over here.
Okay, just iron and sulfur. Head this way next. <coughs> I'm a horrible driver. Good. No. <laughs> and that's why we don't like bronze icon driving. Lots of crappy materials. But we don't want to go find that human habitation. Those are always trouble. Oh, you said... <laughs> have a good night, Commander. It's glad to have you along. What time is it? Oh, it's bedtime. <laughs> All right, then. Well, I don't see anything good on the radar. Just another bronze achondrite and a human thing. Well, we'll maybe pick up another couple and then we'll call it a night. Selenium. Ooh, we got multiple selenium. Oh, I guess we only had a selenium and a sulfur. All right. There you are.
Phosphorus, carbon, and sulfur. Okay. Nothing really spectacularly good. It's too bad. Oops. Let's turn a slow circle here. Yuck, 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 and yuck. Just nothing I want. Alright, we'll run off in this direction a little bit. Not getting lucky in the drops tonight. Looks like Mesa Siderite, that's not very good either. <sighs> oh, wait a minute, we got a 10. Ooh, a yttrium. Well, that's unusual. Maybe I'll pick those up more often. Get another one of those. See if we get lucky and get yttrium again. I'm not used to seeing yttrium in anything except metallic meteorites.
Yeah, sulfur, carbon, and sulfur. actually nearby. Well, it's only a bronze chondrite, but it's right here. <coughs> And we get carbon and a bunch of phosphorus. Metallic meteorite. Call it a night after that. The Mesa Siderite. No outcrops. Haven't seen any outcrops, and I haven't seen any uh, metallic meteorites.
No, we'll check this one out. Although I think it's just another Grunz Chondrite. It's not a spread out enough pattern to be a metallic meteorite. bearings again. I'm not sure which way I got turned. Anything good? Draconian. Boy, I just don't have the luck tonight. All right, galaxy map. Galaxy map. Here's the galaxy map, Commander. Retract landing gear. Landing gear retracted.
Engage. Charging FDL. Disengage. Exiting hyperspace. Well, I pooched that. Powered engines. Running power to engines. It's still. Disengage. Exiting hyperspace. Boy, that was just too tight a jump for it, huh? Disengage. Leaving hyperspace. That's better. Open hailing frequencies. Requesting docking permission.
deploy landing gear. Landing gear deployed. The four mil, four and a half mil.
I don't have an experimental effect on my thrusters. Wait a minute. Yeah, don't have one for life support pinned. Interesting. Has anybody got life support end engines? Who would that be? No, I guess there's no one who has thrusters and life support. All right, well. Oh, no, I've got optimal mass on that. <coughs> what was it?
Hmm. All right, well, I guess I'll just leave it the way it is, and um, we'll head out tomorrow night and see what we can do about uh, getting fed rank. But we're out of time. <laughs> we're past out of time. <laughs> So we'll pick this up again tomorrow night, 8 p.m. And uh, we'll go start doing our federal rank grind and pick up our decal for the Golconda station. Uh, their new, or the Golconda drive or whatever, however it works. Um, but that's tomorrow night. We'll see you tomorrow night, 8 p.m. That's all for now. This is Trice Majestus signing out.